things. They always get the waters dirty. I just get got through putting vitamin water in there. But you know how ducks are. They stick their beaks in there. These guys will be let out so they can fly around. Not the white ones. There's a blue bib. Isn't she pretty? That's one of the daughters. Actually, all of these are daughters and sons from my breeders. Except the white ones. They're new. There's three plus that one. This one here's a daughter. And that's a son. He got out. I just have to go get him back in here. Somebody's got a little poop on their chest. They get so cute. I think that's the boy. And here's the girl. Alright. There's the parents again. There's dad and mom. And dad, I don't think he molted this fall because they were young when we got them. We got them back in March. And I didn't find any of their feathers, so I don't think they molted. That's a showgirl. She is the mom to those little silky chicks that you saw. The three. The white showgirl rooster. We actually got this boy and that girl that we just saw together. Because we were going to make just mostly their breeds. But they didn't mate when they were locked up because they didn't really care for that. They'd rather be loosen a pen like this mating freely. But he like, gets along great with this rooster. He has not molted either. See how he's got that yellow sun burning? Because these are pure white roosters. But they have to molt if they want to keep that white color. Or you gotta shampoo them with that purple shampoo. Makes their white white. That's our newest member. He's a little boy. Royal Palm. We don't want him to get eaten by eagles or hawks, so we have him cooped up in this pen. You can see all the leaves on top. He gets a little bit older, he gets to come out. He does come out daily, but we don't leave him out by himself. They're like, ooh, vitamin water. That's where I put my vitamin water inside to give it to them daily. See what the ducks do? They have to touch everything, they're really dirty. I'm gonna go get him back in here. <laughs> so and threw shavings in his face. Look at those cuties. That's the French Black Copper Moran group. The girls just started laying eggs. I'll show you a picture of a pullet egg they just laid. But yeah, he's doing a really good job. He's got beautiful toes and feet and his body. The reason why I say toes and feet is because sometimes chickens, they're not bred exactly properly. And sometimes they'll have missing toes on both sides of their feet. And that's not good. <clears throat> I'm not crazy about the feathered leg type of um, Morans. I like the clean legs. But this is what I got. So We have three pullets and a cockerel. And they just started laying eggs. I guess we can call them hens now. <laughs> They're pretty. There is a fourth hen. She is a black moran. She's not feather leg. Even though when we first got her as an egg two years ago, she had copper neck and feathery legs. And she lost the copper and the feather, feathery legs. And she's just a black moran. So I thought that was interesting. But she does lay a dark egg, so that's good. They're enjoying this winter weather. We're in December 3rd, so you gotta be safe. Look who's trying to come down. <laughs> Little chipper. He's such a cutie. 
someone's shooting out gun shots. That's always scary. But it's far away. Way out there somewhere. There's another chicken. He's such a good boy. Hi, Chipper. Well, Summers. <sighs> Look at him walking down. So cute. Well, the grass is getting green from the, all the rain we've been getting. That's always good. All the plants are dying back. Christmas decorations coming up. There's T Boy. Look at you, so pretty. Hi, big boy. Here's that. One female, isn't she pretty? So we have three boys. We also have a royal palm. He's a little boy growing up. Three different ages. We have a two year old, seven month old, and then a four month old royal palm. Oy. The pond's filled up again with water way down there. All right, time to take a quick break. <laughs> Look at that female turkey. They're poofing up their bodies, making things bigger. He's not doing too much. Chipper's trying to be a big boy. Did you see him running? That's cute. Look at him. He's a good boy. He's like, I'm gonna beat it up. <laughs> Look how pooped up that one is. They're scared. They're like, no. But he's doing the best job of running up to it. Look at Crow. She's like, I know what that is. They don't touch us at Charlie's house. But I want all the chickens. I made them come out of the pen so they could see what a hawk looks like up close. That's mom right there in the middle, and those are her kids in the back. <laughs> this is where we put the um, apple cider vinegar mixture for making homemade pickles or homemade pickled eggs. We always throw the vinegar um, in 
with their food, which is a great probiotic as well. And there's a couple more down there. Those two always get in here. They like being with the Saramas. And as you can tell, they're girls. I kept the girls. The last four chicks that didn't sell, I had a feeling they were girls. And no one bought them, so we kept them. Oh, look at Andy. His display. Hi, sexy boy. We're eating fresh pumpkin. Look at that lemon blue Sarama rooster. He's pretty. He won't be probably lemon blue for long. I don't know. Depends if another color comes in through his body. This guy's gorgeous. He's blue and white modeled. That's a Norwegian Jerhan. And then these are royal purple guineas. They're juveniles, so they'll get their purple later. They're getting it now, but it's slow. And then that's a royal palm turkey tom, or a little Jakey. His name's Andy. Oh, look at him. He's going to display for me. Hi, big boy. <laughs> You're so cute. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to hug you right after I stop this camera. So cute. 